Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshi Party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a close look at the new podium vehicle, the Roosevelt Valor. As always, I'm gonna be showing you its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes Los Santos Customs, and ultimately I'm gonna be answering the age-old question, is it worth it? And with that out of the way, let's start with the 360 around the Roosevelt Valor while I give you some facts about it. First off, this vehicle is based on the original Roosevelt, which in turn is based on a 1928 Cadillac 341A town sedan. In terms of interactivity, this is what you can expect from the in-game car. You can open basically all of its four doors, its hood, and uh, well, that's basically it. What more can you expect? It has a big old engine, as you can see, a lot of cylinders back in the day. None of this uh, electric motor situation we have going on right now, and all in all, it's a really cool looking vehicle. One surprising thing about this is that it's quite expensive, it's almost a million dollars, even though it doesn't look like it. And it's part of the sports classic category in GT Online, and it's a really cool one that I'm really excited to like, review. With that out of the way, let's jump in and look at what the interior of the vehicle looks like while I give you some more information about it. And oh, the interior is so retro, let's call it. The vehicle sounds decent, well, with that big engine it should. And we're off to Los Santos Customs, and on our way there, of course, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Valor. Now, just to confirm, it's a rear-wheel drive vehicle, in case you're wondering. And off to Los Santos Customs we go, and one piece of information that I didn't share with you before uh, going to Los Santos Customs is that this is not the Valor's first time on the podium. It was actually on the podium, I believe, in the beginning in February of 2020, so three and a half years ago as of the making of this video. Never reviewed it, never driven it, so this is my first and honest impressions of it. This vehicle is, uh, well, let's just call it, uh, it, <laughs> it drives the way it looks. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't drive great. It was released in 2016, which makes it very old in terms of uh, GT Online years, and uh, yeah, not the best uh, driving vehicle. I kind of remember the original Roosevelt not driving that great either. This one was released, I believe, a little bit later than that. But yeah, it's uh, it's just not a great vehicle, uh, all in all. Uh, maybe for <laughs> for just retro sake, uh, I don't know. The customization is probably going to be awesome. Not really, 2016, but who knows? Maybe this is gonna be the best vehicle ever that's been on the podium. I doubt it, but maybe we can have it. And as uh, something that I didn't say before, this vehicle is part of the Sports Classics in GT Online, which is kind of weird, but no, whatever. You can sell it for zero, because, of course, why would you want to make money in the game? And let's upgrade all the performance options up front so we don't forget anything at the end. And engine tunes, that's a weird way to have a option inside of an option weird now let's see we should have a transmission and turbo and we are done with the modification of the vehicle now let's upgrade its exterior and as always we're starting off with the front bumper which is actually kind of modifiable interesting actually like the one with the albany logo on it so we're going to be going with the elegance chrome bumper let's see what rear bumper options we have and we have another chrome one. I wonder if that in the middle is the third brake light or just a reflector. I guess we're gonna find out after we exit Los Santos Customs. For now, let's just see. Okay, something that I was not expecting. This vehicle has a lot of customization. Hold the presses. Oh, I really like the extra horn. Nice. Uh, now, let's see. We can uh, really modify this one. Interesting, I was honestly not expecting this. I don't remember the original Roosevelt having this. Let's see now, we can modify this. Yep, I like this one the best. We can also modify the side. Oh, that just looks awesome. No, although, I am sure that if we change the tires, which I'm not gonna do, the tire on the vehicle is not gonna change its color. So that's gonna be kind of a bummer. But let's go with it, since I'm not changing the color anyways. Badges! Oh, we can put a... That's a Spirit of Ecstasy kind of looking thing. Interesting. Let's go with it. 
light deflectors. Hmm. I think I want to go with this one. For some reason, it looks cool to me. We can go with uh, some more ornaments, I guess. Something sporty for the vehicle. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Uh, I see no difference. But, hey, who cares about money? Let's just blow $700 away. Who cares? And we can have an extra, extra spare wheel. For some reason. But, okay, why not? The extra wheels is always better. Now, let's see. We can customize the grill situation as well. And I gotta say, this one looks really badass to me. So, we're gonna be going with it. We can... Uh, oh, we can make it a hot rod. Now, we're talking. Too bad the, uh, the engine doesn't really reflect what's happening in the game. Basically, the intake doesn't open. But, eh, who cares. Let's go with this one. We are gonna be respraying the... Uh, vehicle at the end of our state Los Santos customs for now. Let's just focus on the Customization part. Let's go with the black license plate because why not? Let's see if we can have uh... Well, this one looks kind of Stupid so I'm not gonna be doing it suspension. We can slam it to the ground and this actually looks better to me Actually, this one looks the best. So I'm gonna go in with it Wheels, as I said before, I am assuming the wheels are not going to change when I uh, modify them. Yep. Only the four wheels change, the extra ones don't, and it just doesn't make sense to have them this way. So we're going to be going with the stock wheels, which means also the stock wheel color. Kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Tire design, of course we can change it. Window tint. Now this is an interesting option, since uh, this is a 1920s vehicle. Yeah, let's go with a little tint. It's a hot rod after all. At least I'm making it a hot rod. And that brings us to the age old question. What to make this vehicle's color? And for this, I posted a poll a couple of days ago in which I asked you guys, the viewers of the Bullshit Party, what color do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now? Well, actually, I didn't say that. I said, do you want me to make it pink? And most of you said, si, which means yes in French. Uh, we're making it, uh, we're making it. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for voting, guys. Hope you like the outcome. Wow, this is an interesting... Co oh. Hmm. This might be the inner Barbie in me talking, or the inner Ken, but I kind of like what I'm looking at. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see if we can go with something matte for the secondary color. Although I really like how it looks black. Let's see, secondary color, secondary color. Is it gonna look weird if I make it white? Or maybe chrome? Although I don't have the chrome option unlocked for some reason. Chameleon! We can do some chameleon colors. Oh, that just looks stupid. But this one looks cool and it's free! So let's go with this one. And we can put a crew emblem on it, which makes everything so much better. And with that, we are out of here! And here we are on the outside, and the first thing I want to test is how many headlights does it have? A lot. How many brake lights does it have? Well, only two, so the middle one on the bumper there is just a reflector. Oh well, you can win them all. Now, let's just see if we are still dealing with a rear-wheel drive vehicle, and uh, yeah, no surprises there. But more importantly, how does the vehicle behave and perform after fully modifying and customizing it? One thing that I'm sure you noticed that was missing was a spoiler option, which means the handling is not gonna be improved much. So, yeah, that was an interesting choice. I believe this is one of the only vehicles in the game, there are probably four or five that I can think of, that don't have a spoiler that you can put on them to improve their performance. That said, the vehicle honestly behaves much better than it did before. It still behaves like a boat, don't get me wrong. It's a huge, uh, kind of slow, big engine, low rev vehicle, but uh, you get what you pay for. Basically, what you see is what you get, is probably the best way I can describe it. Uh, are you gonna get a fast sports classic? No, no. Are you, get, are you gonna get a fast car in any stretch of the imagination? No, no. Are you gonna... Are you gonna get a cool looking car? And the answer for that is... Uh, definitely. Uh, even with pink, even in pink, you guys made me make it pink and it still looks good to me. I don't know what to say. Uh, the original Roosevelt had limited customization from what I can remember. 
but this one completely knocked it out of the park. I was not expecting to like the level of customization since the vehicle is, uh, well, it's very old. Uh, what is it? 2016, so four, seven years old. Seven and a half, more or less. Really cool. I'm really surprised by how much I like this. And to answer the question, is this vehicle worth it? I would gonna say, I would, I'm gonna say uh, the answer is mm, sort of. Depending when you are watching this video. If you're watching it in the week it was released, then this is the current free podium vehicle. In which case, yes, definitely go get it for free, customize it, modify it, and then you're gonna have a weekend just fun vehicle to drive around with and role play with your pals or buds or um, imaginary friends, whatever have you. I'm not judging, but if you're watching the video and this is not a free vehicle and if you need to pay more than $20 for it, I'm gonna say it's probably not worth it just because of the level, low level of uh, performance it has. Customization is surprisingly good, performance is uh, horrible, brakes, handling, everything is trash, but it is what it is. And with that, we are going to be ending the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, consider becoming a YouTube member so you can get uh, and more involved in making the videos. I post polls for members every single week that have impact on the videos themselves. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, turn the bell notifications, and I'll catch you all in the next one.